This is the Cambridge Preliminary English Test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. There are seven questions in this part. For each question, there are three pictures and a short recording. Choose the correct picture and put a tick in the box below it. Before we start, here is an example. Where did the man leave his camera? Oh no, I haven't got my camera. But you used it just now to take a photograph of the fountain. Oh, I remember. I put it down on the steps while I put my coat on. Well, let's drive back quickly. It might still be there. The first picture is correct, so there is a tick in box A. Look at the three pictures for question one now. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear each recording twice. One. Which sport will the woman learn on holiday? So, if you are interested in water sports, this hotel has two pools, diving boards, and its own private beach. You can learn to water ski there, and guests can windsurf too. Although the hotel advises beginners to take a few lessons before going out on their own. Good, I'm quite a strong swimmer, and I have always wanted to try windsurfing, so that would suit me fine. I tried water skiing once, but I didn't like it. Well, I'm I'm sure you'll enjoy your stay there then. Good. Now listen again. So, if you are interested in water sports, this hotel has two pools, diving boards, and its own private beach. You can learn to water ski there, and guests can windsurf too. Although the hotel advises beginners to take a few lessons before going out on their own. Good. I'm quite a strong swimmer, and I have always wanted to try windsurfing, so that would suit me fine. I tried water skiing once, but I didn't like it. Well, I'm I'm sure you'll enjoy your stay there then. Good. Two. What does the girl's pen friend look like now? Look at these photos of my pen friend and her family. I took them during the trip. So is she the one with long hair? Oh, that's her sister. This is her. Next to me, she looks a lot like her sister, though, doesn't she?、Mm. And they used to have hair the same length, but hers has always been curly. It's a shame she had it cut, though. I think it looked better when it was long. Now listen again. Look at these photos of my pen friend and her family. I took them during the trip. So is she the one with long hair? Oh, that's her sister. This is her next to me. She looks a lot like her sister, though, doesn't she?、Mm. And they used to have hair the same length, but hers has always been curly. It's a shame she had it cut, though. I think it looked better when it was long. Three. Which animals did the children see? Well, the zoo was a bit disappointing. The children enjoyed feeding the horses and watching the monkeys and the birds, but they hoped to see lions and tigers, and there weren't any. Someone told us they don't have them there because the security isn't good enough, but I don't know if that's true. Now listen again. Well, the zoo was a bit disappointing. The children enjoyed feeding the horses and watching the monkeys and the birds, but they hoped to see lions and tigers, and there weren't any. Someone told us they don't have them there because the security isn't good enough, but I don't know if that's true. Four. Which TV program is on first? And welcome to our Tuesday evening programs. At nine o'clock, we'll have the first of our new programs on sport, 
And today you can see live the final of the International Tennis Cup. But before that, we have singer Jane Shelley in concert. She will perform songs from her new CD. This will be followed by today's news from around the world. Now listen again. And welcome to our Tuesday evening programs. At nine o'clock, we'll have the first of our new programs on sport. And today, you can see live the final of the International Tennis Cup. But before that, we have singer Jane Shelley in concert. She will perform songs from her new CD. This will be followed by today's news from around the world. Five. What does the boy decide to buy for his grandmother? My mum says I've got to buy my granny a present because she always gets me one when she goes on holiday. I thought I'd get her a black T-shirt. Don't be silly. Old ladies don't wear T-shirts. Why not get her some of the local perfume? It smells of roses, or one of those little wooden boxes. They're great for keeping earrings and stuff in. That's a good idea. She does a lot of travelling, so she can use it to put her jewellery in. Now listen again. My mum says I've got to buy my granny a present because she always gets me one when she goes on holiday. I thought I'd get her a black T-shirt. Don't be silly. Old ladies don't wear T-shirts. Why not get her some of the local perfume? It smells of roses, or one of those little wooden boxes. They're great for keeping earrings and stuff in. That's a good idea. She does a lot of travelling, so she can use it to put her jewellery in. Six. What time is the man's appointment? Hello, appointments. Hello. Could I make an appointment to see Doctor Smith next Tuesday, please? Early evening, if possible. Anything after six o'clock? Well, we open at six fifteen on Tuesday evenings, and there's an appointment at six thirty-five or six fifty. Thanks. I'll take the earlier one. My name's. Now listen again. Hello, appointments. Hello. Could I make an appointment to see Doctor Smith next Tuesday, please? Early evening, if possible. Anything after six o'clock? Well, we open at six fifteen on Tuesday evenings, and there's an appointment at six thirty-five or six fifty. Thanks. I'll take the earlier one. My name's. Seven. What has the woman lost? Excuse me. I was sitting over there ten minutes ago, making a call on my mobile phone. I got a pen out of my bag to write something down, and I think my purse fell out. I can't find it now. Has anyone handed it to you? Now listen again. Excuse me. I was sitting over there ten minutes ago, making a call on my mobile phone. I got a pen out of my bag to write something down, and I think my purse fell out. I can't find it now. Has anyone handed it to you? That is the end of part one. Now turn to part two. Questions eight to thirteen. You will hear a man called Frank talking on the radio about looking for ships that sank at sea long ago. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Frank, tell us about some of the ships you've discovered. Well, there's nothing quite like finding your first old ship. It was three hundred years old. It was just lying at the bottom of the sea, so it wasn't difficult to find. Most are covered in sand and rocks, but this one wasn't. I'm actually a teacher, not a full-time diver. 
I dive in my free time, but I often get to them before the professional divers because I have good, up-to-date equipment. Another thing that helps is talking to fishermen who tell me about their local area. I've even written a book about some of their experiences. At the moment, I'm looking for the gold from a ship called the Seabird. It was an enormous, well-built ship, and it was coming from Australia on a winter night in 1859. Everything was going fine until the ship reached the English coast, when it crashed into some rocks in a very strong wind and sank to the bottom of the sea. It was carrying gold from Australia, and most of it is still at the bottom of the sea. My wedding ring is actually made from gold, which I found on an 18th century sailing ship. A friend of mine, another diver, has already found 88,000 pounds worth of gold from different ships. He's now decided to give up his job and become a full-time diver. My house is full of things like uh, coins, bottles, and old guns. My wife is always complaining about the number of objects around the house. She says I should open an antiques shop. But I love all these old things. Anyway, in the end, I gave some things from my collection to museums, because I didn't want to sell them. But my wife still wasn't very pleased, I'm afraid. As diving is a dangerous hobby, it's not a good idea to try to teach yourself. I'd advise anyone interested to do what I did. There are some excellent diving clubs, like the one I joined, which run courses for beginners. It's best to do one of these before you go on a diving holiday. Now listen again. Frank, tell us about some of the ships you've discovered. Well, there's nothing quite like finding your first old ship. It was 300 years old. It was just lying at the bottom of the sea, so it wasn't difficult to find. Most are covered in sand and rocks, but this one wasn't. I'm actually a teacher, not a full-time diver. I dive in my free time, but I often get to them before the professional divers because I have good, up-to-date equipment. Another thing that helps is talking to fishermen who tell me about their local area. I've even written a book about some of their experiences. At the moment, I'm looking for the gold from a ship called the Seabird. It was an enormous, well-built ship, and it was coming from Australia on a winter night in 1859. Everything was going fine until the ship reached the English coast, when it crashed into some rocks in a very strong wind and sank to the bottom of the sea. It was carrying gold from Australia, and most of it is still at the bottom of the sea. My wedding ring is actually made from gold, which I found on an 18th century sailing ship. A friend of mine, another diver, has already found 88,000 pounds worth of gold from different ships. He's now decided to give up his job and become a full-time diver. My house is full of things like uh, coins, bottles, and old guns. My wife is always complaining about the number of objects around the house. She says I should open an antiques shop. But I love all these old things. Anyway, in the end, I gave some things from my collection to museums, because I didn't want to sell them. But my wife still wasn't very pleased, I'm afraid. As diving is a dangerous hobby, it's not a good idea to try to teach yourself. I'd advise anyone interested to do what I did. There are some excellent diving clubs, like the one I joined, which run courses for beginners. It's best to do one of these before you go on a diving holiday. That is the end of part two. Now turn to part three, questions 14 to 19. You will hear a man telling a group of students about a trip to the theatre. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. OK, everyone. Now, I need to say a few things about our visit to Staunton Theatre next Tuesday. You need to be here at school at six o'clock. We'll meet by the back gate because the coach can't stop at the front one. We can't leave any later than six as the play starts at 7.30. 
We're seeing a very interesting play called The Party by Andrew McVitie. It's a comedy about a birthday celebration. His works can be difficult to understand, so you need to read the play in advance. There is a copy for everybody, which you can pick up from the school secretary. Do that as soon as you can. I'll hand out the theatre tickets on the coach. We're all sitting together in rows E and F. The full price of these tickets is eighteen pounds, but you're lucky because I've managed to get a discount for the group, so you only have to pay fifteen pounds seventy-five each. Could you let me have this money before Tuesday, please? And three pounds fifty for the coach. Now, a lot of you have suggested going somewhere together afterwards. Well, the coach driver is willing to come back a bit later, but there isn't time for a three-course meal. So we'll go to a cafe I know nearby for an ice cream and a coffee. Don't forget to bring some money for that. I've arranged for the coach to make an extra stop before it comes back to the school. So for those of you who need to take the bus home, it will be possible for you to get off at the bus station. If you decide to take a taxi, you should find plenty of taxis there, or you can walk to the main square. Right. Any questions? Now listen again. Okay, everyone. Now, I need to say a few things about our visit to Staunton Theatre next Tuesday. You need to be here at school at six o'clock. We'll meet by the back gate because the coach can't stop at the front one. We can't leave any later than six, as the play starts at seven thirty. We're seeing a very interesting play called The Party by Andrew McVitie. It's a comedy about a birthday celebration. His works can be difficult to understand, so you need to read the play in advance. There is a copy for everybody, which you can pick up from the school secretary. Do that as soon as you can. I'll hand out the theatre tickets on the coach. We're all sitting together in rows E and F. The full price of these tickets is eighteen pounds. But you're lucky because I've managed to get a discount for the group, so you only have to pay fifteen pounds seventy-five each. Could you let me have this money before Tuesday, please? And three pounds fifty for the coach. Now, a lot of you have suggested going somewhere together afterwards. Well, the coach driver is willing to come back a bit later, but there isn't time for a three-course meal, so. We'll go to a cafe I know nearby for an ice cream and a coffee. Don't forget to bring some money for that. I've arranged for the coach to make an extra stop before it comes back to the school. So for those of you who need to take the bus home, it will be possible for you to get off at the bus station. If you decide to take a taxi, you should find plenty of taxis there, or you can walk to the main square. Right. Any questions? That is the end of part three. Now turn to part four, questions twenty to twenty-five. Look at the six sentences for this part. You will hear a conversation between a teenage boy, Alex, and his sister Rose about where to go to eat. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Hi, Alex. Where's Mum? She's gone out. Has she? Where's she gone? I don't know. Actually, she just left a note. I expect she's gone to Grandad's. But Grandad's gone to his club today. He always goes on Tuesdays. Oh yes, you're right. I don't know where she is then. Oh, never mind. Supper then. Boring soup and boring salad. Oh no! I could make something more interesting. That's a good idea, but you're an awful cook, Rose. And anyway, there's nothing else in the fridge. Let's eat out then. We can't. I haven't got any money. Well, I have. Great! Let's go to the Pizza Palace. I'm not that rich. Be reasonable. The prices at Pizza Palace are much higher than anywhere else. 
Why don't we go to McGregor's? McGregor's? I'd rather have soup and salad at home. Food's not that bad there, but they don't have any music. Well, they do, but it's really awful. They have good music at Classic Express, though, don't they? Well, sometimes they have terrible classical stuff, but you can ask them to change the CD for some cool rock music. Oh, I've never thought of doing that. That's a good idea. Shall we go there then? What's the food like? I've been there a few times, but only for a coffee. Well, you'd like it. You get really huge plates of food. There would even be enough for you. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Well, I haven't. Anyway, I'm hungry now. Are we going, or aren't we? Sure. Let's go by bike.、Oh, you're crazy, Alex. It's pouring with rain out there. Okay. How about a taxi? Yes, Alex. We could take a taxi, but then I wouldn't have enough money for the meal. I'm going on foot, and you're coming with me. All right, sisters. Now listen again. Hi, Alex. Where's Mum? She's gone out. Has she? Where's she gone? I don't know. Actually, she just left a note. I expect she's gone to Grandad's. But Grandad's gone to his club today. He always goes on Tuesdays. Oh yes, you're right. I don't know where she is then. Oh, never mind. What's for supper then? Boring soup and boring salad. Oh no. I could make something more interesting. That's a good idea. But you're an awful cook, Rose. And anyway, there's nothing else in the fridge. Let's eat out then. We can't. I haven't got any money. Well, I have. Great. Let's go to the Pizza Palace. I'm not that rich. Be reasonable. The prices at Pizza Palace are much higher than anywhere else. Why don't we go to McGregor's? McGregor's? I'd rather have soup and salad at home. Food's not that bad there. But they don't have any music. Well, they do, but it's really awful. They have good music at Classic Express, though, don't they? Well, sometimes they have terrible classical stuff, but you can ask them to change the CD for some cool rock music. Oh, I've never thought of doing that. That's a good idea. Shall we go there then? What's the food like? I've been there a few times, but only for a coffee. Well, you'd like it. You get really huge plates of food. There would even be enough for you. I'm surprised you haven't noticed. Well, I haven't. Anyway, I'm hungry now. Are we going or aren't we? Sure. Let's go by bike.、Oh, you're crazy, Alex. It's pouring with rain out there. Okay. How about a taxi? Yes, Alex. We could take a taxi, but then I wouldn't have enough money for the meal. I'm going on foot, and you're coming with me. All right, sisters.